What happens when you get five British people and a fake person? Are five British people capable of finding the imposter among us? Among us? I'm sorry. This is the video. This is the video. Five Brits, one person that's not Brit. Ah, ha, ha. Quick disclaimer, if you're a British person and you're watching this, I don't mean any offenses by this. I just, I, it's just banter, okay? It's just banter, okay? So don't, don't get upset. I'm sorry. I don't, lo I don't hate you. I love you. I love you. Every, every British person. I love you. I am British. 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 One of them's lying. <laughs> one of them is an American. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right now, which one do we think is the secret American? Personally, this guy right here, he's getting real brother vibes, all right? I, I feel like I know dudes like this. But at the same time, I could be debated. I could be debated. It could be this lady. It could be this It could be this guy. It could be him. Who knows? Why am I nervous? Is anyone else nervous? <laughs> I'm nervous too. I'm actually a dual citizen, uh, US and UK. I um, grew up in England, in London, and I moved to America when I was 12. So you'll hear I have a bit of a like clunky accent. I'm not a dual citizen, I'm a citizen of the UK, but I also moved when I was 12. And oh, cool. my accent, for the most part, I think I still sound kind of British. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I'm a citizen of the UK. Oh, I spent about four years in India, so I got a bit of that as well. And I moved to the US two years ago for UCLA, so I'm a student right now. I'm also a citizen of the UK. I moved to the US two months ago. Well, um, I lived in Canada before that for four years, which is horrible because I Canadian. hate the cold. Um, mm -hmm. I've lived here for 11 years. I'm from Liverpool. Um, um, yeah, I've been here <laughs> a long time, so my accent kind of sounds muddled. Where I'm a scouser. Scouts? I'm also a dual. Oh, you know, at first I thought like, okay, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Scouser is pretty deep British slang. That stuff I don't even know. Citizen. Um, I moved here when I was 12. Uh, well, I got my dual citizenship when I was 12. Lots of people got their dual citizenships at 12. <laughs> Suspicious. <laughs> I was on you. Not there. I said it first. That's true, that's true. You're from London. Where in the UK are you from? Yeah, London. London. Yeah, yeah. Leicester. Liverpool. Liverpool. Where are you from? London. Oh, London. I'm from Manchester. What part uh, of London? He's Second. from Manchester. No. Okay, I'm from Upper Norwood. Yeah. Where West. specifically in West. London? West, okay. Yeah. I'm from Leicester and Wigston. Oh, okay, nice. Where in Liverpool I studied there? Um, I was I was born in uh, West Derby. Okay. Mm. Wigston, that's right near uh, Oatby. Yes. Market so. Harbour. Market Harbour. Sounds familiar. Yeah. I mean, um, I grew up in a very small bubble. <laughs> I mean, my parents would take me everywhere. Um, and I grew up in India for like 14 to 18, and then go back to the UK, finish up my school there. And then How long in. were you in Leicester for? Uh, from zero to 14, I was born in Leicester. Yeah. That's cool. I feel like someone from Leicester would have automatically known where Market Harbour Oh no, the British people are getting them. They're like, how do you not know what's in my tiny island? How do you not know? <laughs> I'm sorry. Harbour is. I'm from Manchester and I know where Market Harbour is. It's a tiny little town. I don't know a lot about English geography because I was so in my own world. And yeah, my parents would take me around everywhere. So it, his story was convincing to me because that's similar to my story. Yeah. What were you guys' first impressions of America? Really Big. overwhelmed. Big, right? Yeah, yeah. Big. Like, like all huge their portions with their food. Like every <laughs> Literally, is like, oh, yeah. their medium-sized so pizza is our large-sized yeah. pizza. Yeah. It's overwhelmed. The imperial system. Oh, yes. It's horrible. Well, I've been here for two months. I'm still trying to get used to Fahrenheit. It's really stressing yeah. me out. The, the temperature is one. <laughs> Things like that, you know? And like, I work <laughs> off a 24-hour clock. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I still got that, yeah. <laughs> I, th I think tipping culture is pretty bad. Oh, everything tipping here, culture. Everything, yeah, whatever the price is, oh, it's a, like at least three dollars. We could stay in this conversation for ages. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I got a lot of questions, like people assume because you're British, you like something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when One Direction was big, they're like, you're British, you like something. And I was like, I have heard maybe two of their songs. Bruh, that's like, oh, you're Mexican, you like this Spanish thing. Or, oh, you're Asian, you like K-pop. You know, stuff like that. It's like, they just assume assume you're really into the thing from your like country of origin for some reason. Or like Harry Potter hot take, I haven't seen all of the movies, I've only seen like two. You're joking. I'm <laughs> sorry, I know, that's like the peak British thing and I haven't done it. Well like the first thing they say is like, talk about tea or water. Yeah, and right, tea water. Water. Oh, yeah. They always say, say water. Or like water. pip pip cheerio, yeah. like sorry no one says that. <laughs> His story at first kind of seemed like he was just making something up. You're the worst British accent I've heard ever. I'm, I'm so convinced, Tim. 
obviously didn't know this geography. Oh. Uh, I was just shocked. I was a bit sheltered, but so I didn't know my geography very well. But I was wondering when they're gonna get Michael out. That was surprising. Yeah, he sounded very British. <laughs> I think it's a joke. I think everyone's British. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like when, when I meet people, they always say, oh, you're from London. They automatically like, yeah, yeah, assume yeah. everyone's from London. I'm yeah. like, no, I'm from Liverpool. They're yeah. like, oh, the Beatles. And they mentioned the Beatles, but <laughs> the UK is so big. Like, they just think it's just Which London. It's funny because I feel like a fake when I say I'm from London because it's like, oh, of course you're from London. I spoke to someone that thought <laughs> London was the country. England is my city. One time oh. someone asked me, are you from England or Britain? Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. Well, that's because Americans don't know geography <laughs> at all. I will say, <laughs> since living here, I have felt my just general world knowledge declining as I go through the <laughs> gen education system. I don't know anything yeah. about anywhere anymore. For me, since I moved when I was 12, which is uh, seventh grade here in the States. She mentioned um, seventh grade, and usually we say year seven or year eight or year nine, and it just threw me off. The biggest change I noticed was how students address their teachers. Like, it's very informal, you know? Mm -hmm. Whereas I think growing up in England, like, you would never question your teacher, you know? Or, like, I feel like the parents have that kind of... What school did you go to? <laughs> it was funny because, obviously, growing up in England... Bruh, now I'm starting to think that she's the American. Mm. I've watched a lot of British TV, and one thing I can say is that the kids do in fact talk back. They just say it with a British accent, so it doesn't sound as uh, violent as when we Americans talk back to our teachers. England, um, you wear uniforms all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was lavender in the summertime with white socks. Yeah, you have a winter and, and summer winter uniform. And winter, summer uniform, yeah. and a PE uniform that changes mm -hmm. based on the, mm -hmm. the season What school do you go to? <laughs> <laughs> Although thinking yeah. about it, like I feel like I'm so glad that we had a uniform in school oh, because yeah, yeah. the poor fashion choices I made at 13, <laughs> yeah, I'm same. so glad it I didn't have to go to school dressed like that. No, genuinely, I look back at my Facebook photos <laughs> and want to disassociate from the, whoever that girl was, it wasn't me. Hey, good humans, it's Timmy here. And Maddie. Uh, I'm a sucker for a good British accent. Or Do you real. think you've sniffed out the mole yet? Honestly, I'm not what, sure. What am I All watching? I've been smelling are these sweet, sweet fragrances I got from Scentbird. It's What's an that? Wait. She was a little bit quieter than the rest of the group. <laughs> you guys did good. You guys did good. I think I said grade seven. There are words that I say in the American way now. Raise your hand if you think the mole is still in the box and you'd wish to continue the game. <laughs> majority rules, that means we move on to round three. So you guys uh, still no. think the mole's in the box right now? 100%. Who? Who well, do you think I it have is? No suspicions about these two. I have who, do you, who do you think it is? Well, we can't tell you right can now, can we? Yeah. I thought you guys were all British. Like, I really was ready to Honestly, ready to win. starting to pick up on some uh, accent glitches. I'm just a really suspicious person, generally. Okay. So. <laughs> if you had to pick one item from a supermarket, what was it like your favorite item from that store? So, chocolate fingers. <gasps> Hey, this is a really random thing to say, but the meal deal, the Tesco meal deal. Oh my God, yes. They're, they're always the best. I, ironically, there were these, it came in a yellow package. It was like an American pancake. It was so good, you put it in the toaster. And I put it in the yeah. toaster all the time. It was really tasty. It was just a generic, I, I think no, it was. I don't know that one. Don't know that one. <laughs> but it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't something notable. Yeah. What would you get? The prawn cocktail sandwich, <gasps> definitely. Oh, no, I like this crisp, the prawn yeah, cocktail yeah. crisp. Pink one. I think the crisps I miss the most are Monster Munch and Quavers. I was gonna say Quavers. Quavers. I was gonna Quavers. say Quavers. What's it? Crinkle cut, cheesy what's it? No, I don't think with what's it. No? no. I mean, what about discos? Do you guys like discos? My American mind can't hand, what are these products? The disco. Yeah, it's a disco. Yeah, disco is the crisps? Yeah. They have like a bunch of flavors, They're salt like vinegar, old school ones, barbecue. They're here or UK? The UK? UK? Oh, no. no They're no, not no, here no, at all. No, no. He didn't know what discos were. I mean, okay, well, he can't be British. <laughs> My initial <laughs> suspicions. Michael what? what? I don't know! <laughs> Just out of everybody! It's probably my accent, like no, I'm from No, not even the accent. I think also, too, you're yeah. the only one who didn't raise your hand. And like... I really thought that... Because I, mean, I thought not you guys were good. Oh, okay. I was like, okay, these are my fellow Brits right here. And then you said I thought you all were British. There were just some things... No one has like... that much British camaraderie. <laughs> I'm not saying it is you. Okay. I'm just saying out of everyone who it could have been, in my mind, okay. it was closer to being you. I'd rather not say. <laughs> so now you look suspicious. <laughs> no. I don't trust anyone. You could all be lying to me. If it's any, I mean, I don't know if this is cheating, but I literally have a tattoo on my body of my postcode. And we're going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Mm. 
he didn't know what disco chips were. You mother. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, wait, you know, I'm surprised. He knows, I, you know. I'm really bitter about being voted out. Just because somebody doesn't know the same snack as you does not mean that their nationality should be questioned. If you think the mole is still in the box. You don't know what Doritos are? You're not from this country, bro. That's the standard. And you'd like to continue the game, raise your hand. But, oh, God. Uh, I still feel she might be the mole. Really? <laughs> Mm-hmm. I'm really, like... <sighs> I mean, I guess. Continue. Okay, so you got your dual citizenship when you were 12. Did you move with your family and where did you move to? I got sponsored by my auntie. Sponsored? Yeah, we got sponsored from when we were really young, so pretty much when we were born. By the time it came through, that was a waiting list back then, so wow. it, we came through when we were 12. When we were kids, we used to come every year. My mum wanted us to move, you know, or have the option when we're older to be able to go back and forth, you know. I've been here for 11 years. I came in 2012, and I originally came over to see my sister. She lives in North Carolina. She has her own little deli, so I was helping her out. And then in 2014, I moved to LA, and I've been here since. Yeah. Your turn. Okay, yeah. I know I, you guys are like ganging up on me. No, so no, no. my dad works at an IT company, mm -hmm. and so they asked if he could be the manager in LA, and we all moved, and we've been here for 12 years. Okay. Went to school here. You said you go to UCLA, yeah? I go to UCLA. I'm studying linguistic anthropology, minoring in French. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> linguistic anthropology. Linguistic, yeah. Do you know a lot about football? No. Like, do you know any of the teams in the Premier League? Well, okay. I never got also? into football okay. really when I was there. I only supported the teams that my friends. Which ones? What teams? So, che obviously, Chelsea, mm -hmm. Arsenal, Man U were like the main ones. Mm -hmm. I don't watch sports in general, really. Okay. Um, if a game's on, if the World Cup's on, obviously, you watch it. England all the way. But mm -hmm. in general. I don't really watch too much football, but if you grow up in England. You'll, you'll know about the Premier League. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Gosh, this is hard. I had a feeling. Guys are wrong. I think they'd made a pact. <laughs> and I was just the only one not in that pact. Do you feel confident in your choice? I do. <laughs> Definitely. You're not the mole, are you? <laughs> no. Okay, good. If the lights turn green, that means that you have voted the mole out and you both win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you lose. So. <laughs> if you did, you did a good job. No, I'm coming from. You got nothing to worry about. Three, two, one. <laughs> well, the mole reveal themselves in three, two, one. Oh, I wow. knew it. Are you I kidding was, me? Was, that was my first pick, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I got it from the get go. You knew it was Tejas, and you continued to play. <laughs> I told you it's all about the De Niro show. <laughs> this man truly has become American. I studied, but not, not the geography. I was looking at the map, but I didn't recognize uh, all the places. And I could always do somewhat of a British accent, uh, or at least I thought I could. And then I just Googled, like, where's the most amount of brown people from England? And I was like, Lester, Lester it is. Your accent was really good. Yeah, so really I was thinking, good. I, I had some, somewhat of a plan, but not knowing geography is pretty American. So. <laughs> I'm pretty sure yeah. The goddamn eagle sound effect. Honestly, he had me fooled. I really wasn't suspecting him. I honestly thought it was probably uh, this, this dude over here. Or maybe, I really thought it was just these two, to be honest. <laughs> Flabbergasted. <laughs> Dumbstruck. <laughs> Bewildered. He probably sounded more British than me. I, I guess I have a joke. I'm not sure it's very funny. Uh, but what would you call my leaving the box in the first round? Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was all That was all I could think about when I left. I was like, oh my god, this is, yeah. Okay, bros, what have we learned today? We've learned that, 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 that you need to study your English geography. So I'm prescribing you English geography homework. I needed all 10 paper page essays on why British is good and never committed any war crimes in history. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. See the notification. Get the notifications. Go to the description. Check out my Discord. Go to the get the merch. And the gabadagool. Gabagool. I'll see you tomorrow or maybe some other day. I don't know, man. You live your own life. I'll live mine.